Hey there guys, so I'm armed with my knife. We managed to get everything in through the front door. I did have to unbox the actual chair though. So um, yeah, so we're gonna go through it. I've got my faithful assistant here, Luno, who's gonna help me. And we'll start with this one. This first one I've actually already torn open. Um, but it says flight accessories on the front. What's in it? Basically the instructions for the entire rig. Um, with all the various uh, nuts and bolts and stuff. So we'll keep that over there nice and safe. And then inside, we've got um, all the various plates. Uh, actually, that's quite badly scratched on there. It's on the back side, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, all the various plates for the peripherals, so um, joysticks, yokes, and all that sort of thing. So we'll just set these aside. They have come very, very nicely wrapped up. Um, in this uh, bubble wrap stuff, so it might have been me who scratched it, but anyway, as you can see, various arms, various legs, and stands, and things of that nature. So, box one done. So, I might time lapse some of this stuff, guys, so you don't have to sit through it painstakingly trying to unbox these things, but uh, we'll go through it one by one and I'll show you what's in each one. Luna, you're gonna help me, yeah? Come on in. Okay guys, so box number two, this says keyboard stand on the front, so I think we know what that is. Um, let's just uh, unbox these things. I went for the whole desktop setup as well, because I'm going to be using this obviously for flight simming, but I'm hoping to use it as, um, as my office as well. Uh, the chair feels and looks amazingly comfortable. We'll see how easy it is to get in and out and, you know, but I went for the maximum surface area for keyboards, mice and, you know, paperwork as well as, you know, it being a full, uh, full flight sim cockpit. So I'll be interested to see how that works out, um, if it does work out, because it's actually not sold, that's not a perk, you know, I'm, I'm taking a bit of a risk here. Um, so we'll see, but anyway. Here is the keyboard stand, and we've got, oh joy, more, more instructions, <laughs> and again, a lot of uh, metal hardware. If you don't mind, what I think I'm going to do is keep all this in the box so I don't kind of mix things up. So, there we go, box number two, done, keyboard stand, and I'll just move this over there. Luna, if you want to make a start on setting that up, that would be great. Is that okay? You can get the instructions out. Yeah? Go see, go see. Maybe not. Okay guys, box number three. This is the monitor stand. Uh, so let's just uh, crack this open. Again, I'm gonna, oops, if you don't mind, I'm not gonna empty it out because I want these things to be uh, easy to set up. There's a whole bunch of stuff here, so I don't wanna get mixed up. So uh, we will open her up and see what's in the box. I have a feeling it's going to be metal hardware, <laughs> more of it, and absolutely, so lots of struts and things. I have to say, the quality of the, the material and the way it's been constructed feels really nice, really heavy duty. Um, oh dear. We have yet more instructions and bolts and things. And this is, yeah, specific instructions for the triple monitor stand. It's like IKEA hell, isn't it? This is gonna take me a long time to set up. But anyway, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me in the journey. I'll probably time lapse some of it. And uh, like I said, I'll try and leave out the swearing. So there we go, guys. That's box number three, the uh, triple screen stand. Okay, box number four. Okay guys, so we've got two relatively small boxes now, so I don't I have no idea what's in them. I guess it's probably Allen keys and tool. Ah, okay, cool. Alright, so this is, these are the seat belts for the seat. Obviously, that's why they're called seat belts. Wow, they're really nice. 
they are really nicely made. And it's a proper seat belt. So when we're doing those loops, we won't be, uh, we won't be falling out. That's cool. Okay, so that's that little box. We'll unbox this one as well. I can go over there. Oops, instructions. It's worth saying, everything so far that's come in a, in a separate box has come with its own instructions, which is good because I'm not very good at this stuff. And uh, the clearer the instructions, the more instructions there are, the better. So let's see what's in this box here. And. Ooh, what's this then? I'm not entirely sure what this is. Oh, hang on, this opens out. This is. Whoops. Oh, they're the support posts for the stand. I think these are optional. Yeah, optional support posts. So if you want to make it more rigid, then you can use these to make the, the whole frame more rigid. So that's very cool. Um, interesting that it says optional. I guess we'll see how it, uh, how it is when we've, when we've assembled the main part of it. So anyway, put that over there. I'm going to keep you with me, guys. Um, We'll keep going. So this is a uh, unlabeled box. So we'll just. Uh, this feels pretty heavy. Ooh. Wow, that is pretty damn nice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this out and show you this. These are the I think these are the side plates. But check that out. How awesome is that? And they're really nicely made. Really good stuff. So that is that. And these are the stands. This is officially called uh, EGT Ultimate and Back Half Instructions. So I think actually that's part of the base that goes round round the structure at the bottom. Very nice, I like that a lot. My wife is cleaning the wall outside, so if the camera is shaking, that's her work walking back and forth. Apologies. Right, what have we got here? We have got possibly the biggest box of them all. And It's the footboard, it's for where the rudder pedals go, basically. And again, on first impressions, it looks pretty damn nice. So that is that. Again, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna fully unbox it, because uh, I need to keep this all in relative order. So what do we have here? Gaming, gaming desktop, I think that's it. So let's have a quick look. See that, but it fits across the top there to give you um, surface area for a keyboard. And there it is. And that is pretty nice. It's even got holes for cables, so it's going to look very tidy. Excellent. Okay, guys. Put that, over there. that leaves us with uh, two things. Um, the first of which is this. So this is a mat that goes underneath everything to stop it from scratching the floor. So again, very cool, very good thing to think about. Um, I'm not gonna unbox that, that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's have a look at the seat. So here is the chair. Oy! Hope I'm still in focus. Well, let's just move this on here. This thing is really heavy and it feels absolutely wonderful. Um, I wonder if I can push this out a bit. No, well, I probably can, but I'm not going to. Oh, we've got a lumbar support there. That's very nice. 
and uh, again, very well built, very well manufactured, and uh, feels really nice, looks comfortable, can't wait to try it out. So there we go guys, that is the full unboxing of this flight sim cockpit. Um, and uh, I'm just, I'm gonna get stuck in to trying to set this thing up. I've gotta take down what I already have now, which is uh, just a normal desk. Um, also need to take the monitors off of the wall, which is gonna leave some exposed holes and things on the wall. So, um, you know, I'll, I will probably have to, well, not probably, I will have to re, decorate that wall to get rid of that and fill in the holes and things because uh, you know we want things looking nice and nice and sweet so there we go guys I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and um, I'll bring you back once uh, I've got um, some way into setting this thing up and I'll show you the progress along the way Hello there guys, right now here is pretty much the finished product of the GT Ultimate uh, cockpit, flight sim cockpit setup and um, I have to say I've only used it for a couple of hours so this isn't going to be a full review, I'm going to wait and do that uh, once I've had a uh, better chance to use it more but first impressions are it's absolutely incredible, very very comfortable um and durable the way it's made is very very good very high quality um the setup process wasn't without its problems um and i think they could probably do a slightly better job in the instructions but i'll i'll talk more about that in the review video but there it is there is the full thing let me just walk backwards sorry about the shaky camera um and that is pretty much it i'll give you a quick tour around and so you can see there's the gorgeous chair that thing is so comfortable carbon fiber back obviously we've got the mat underneath there as well and then just coming up for a bit of a shot overhead we have we've got the SciTech yoke and of course i've got the x45 on the on the, the sides there and then if you can see under there i've got the rudder pedals on that uh, that board down there so yeah a uh, triple monitor stand all set up and looking pretty damn good. I've done my best with the cable management. It needs a bit of work, um, but yeah, I'm, I'll work, work on that and try and make that uh, look a bit better. But like I said, so far so good, guys. I'm really enjoying this and uh, look out for the full review video coming very soon. Happy to answer any questions you might have about this amazing thing. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.